Chapter 19, which you're reading for this week, walks you through all the different steps in the research process. Now you have already done a few of these steps because you're not starting from scratch. You have already made an argument that now you're revising, so you've already found a topic. And you've probably focused it as well and started your research adding in sources to support your argument. Well now, you're going to be expanding on this because with our library day and library guest lecture, you are learning how to use the really credible, really strong resources that are available through databases and other, other kinds of material at our, at our libraries here at LMU. And uh, now for our project, your primary research is your own experience. That is your relationship to this, the trip that you took, the experience that you had in an online class. And this working bibliography, which you are making into an annotated bibliography, is your project this week. And But before you get to that, you should be evaluating your sources, which is what we're going to be getting to next. For your first project, you just had to find two sources to support your point. For this project, you need to evaluate your sources and decide what is the best option, the best support for my argument or for a counter argument that then I am going to be challenging throughout my paper. So that is where we are going to be focusing this week and where you're going to be moving to in our rough draft workshop is the ways that you incorporate this source material that you incorporate it into your argument, supporting it in the correct places. So remember when we were looking at Tate's article, how there wasn't a clear connection or a clear explanation of why particular sources were referenced in the order or the places that they were referenced, nor did they tie back into that original argument, that original experience that Tate was talking about. All of your sources should not just be giving your reader information. They should have direct, concrete links to your topic and to your overarching argument, and you should reflect on them and analyze them after you reference them, the way you see in the student paper that we looked at as well. And finally, everything should be cited. Cite, cite, cite. That is the main word of this unit. You should have an MLA citation for every single reference that you make. These citations not only prevent plagiarism, they also demonstrate to your reader the authority and the credibility of the argument you're making because they show them exactly where these sources came from and they can follow those those sources they can look them up themselves and they can see yeah you know this this is drawing from a good spread of, of reliable resources this is a really valid point so that is the research project from your book and next we're going to be moving on to the material from your book about how to go about evaluating these sources.